hi and assalamu alaikum everyone i hope you're all having a lovely day wherever you are and um yeah as you can see just check the weather out guys i feel like i have to let you all know how the weather here is every morning or as soon as it changes i just need to tell you guys <laughs> okay well look oh my god it's so beautiful though guys can you see there people are i don't know what's happening there is it some kind of a rugby match or oh my god i'm getting all wet there are people walking outside and they're not even holding an umbrella chilling let's see what we're gonna be making today Ajay. Assalamu alaikum pyare viewers kaise hain aap ummeed hai ki aap sab Allah taala ke fazl o karam se khairiyat se honge aaj hum aapko chili lamb ki recipe dikha rahe hain ummeed hai ki aapko pasand aayegi inshallah so guys as you know with all our lamb recipes we like to boil the meat first um that's just to help make the smell go away and um over here we have some chilies these are not spicy at all and um they're quite sweet like bell peppers Okay, well, that's about two tablespoons of lemon zest and um, about four to five cloves of garlic. And over here we have about four tablespoons of lemon juice, a handful of ginger, two large onions and uh, two large tomatoes. Guys, um, at this stage you can put some green chilies as well if you want to make it a bit spicy. as you can see that the meat has come to a boil and what we're going to do is throw the water away and um, just rinse the meat out with cold water so let's get started we have um, about half a cup of oil in the wok which was already heated now we're adding some of our chopped vegetables um, so we're adding our onions um, garlic and um, ginger and we're just going to fry them first we want to keep frying them until they become nice and golden brown in colour. Meanwhile, the onions are frying. I thought, why not just make some hot tea in my favourite cup? Guys, thank you so much for your lot's support. It literally means so much to me and mom. Over here, I have the rice boiling away in the rice cooker. And uh, just look at the colour, guys, of the onions. Don't they look so beautiful? Mm -hmm. Now we're putting in our meat that we've already boiled. Now we need to just fry the meat until it's a bit golden brown. After our meat has fried, now what we do is we put about half a teaspoon of whole coriander seeds and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, um, haldi. Now, according to our taste, we're putting about one teaspoon of salt so we thought we should just put a tiny bit more now we're just putting a little bit of red chili powder when you see that the masala and the meat has fried what you then do is put your tomatoes in and um, at this point if you want it a bit spicy you can put the green chilies as well so with this recipe chili lamb guys you have to do a lot of frying um, and make sure that the water it evaporates and you have like a dry masala here we're adding about four tablespoons of dark soy sauce this will just give it a really yummy taste and um, the color as well So over here we're putting about half a teaspoon of uh, tandoori masala what this is going to do it's going to give us a nice reddish brownish color now over here at this point we'll be putting some black pepper we're putting the powder in you can put the crushed black pepper if you want as well or even if you have white pepper that's totally fine So now you need to put about two cups of hot water um, we're putting the water from the kettle and um, what this is going to do it's going to help us cook our lamb 
Guys, this really made me laugh because it looks like we're massaging the lamp. <laughs> So after it comes to a boil, we just need to put the lid on and let it cook for about 15-20 minutes. So guys, it was cooking on medium flame. Now what we're going to do is pick up the lid and just give it a nice stir. We will now be putting in our squeezed lemon juice. And also just add our grated lemon zest. Over here we have a separate frying pan, um, it's on full flame, so what we're going to do is put the chilies in there and um, it's basically just going to give it a really nice charcoal grilled flavour. You can say they're basically going to be a bit bruised, um, so you just need to toast them a bit on the pan. Guys, so as you can see our rice are done too and we're just putting some food colour you can use saffron as well they're just going to be beautiful in color when you've put all of that in just cover the lid for a while and just let them rest putting one chicken cube um, as you can see mom she's crushing it in her hand this basically just helps it mix in really quickly and well Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the recipe. We hope you liked our recipe. Inshallah, next time we will see you again. Keep your mind. Allah Hafiz. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Take care. Allah Hafiz.